In this video we're going to have a look at ants and how to actually uh, combat the whole problem that ants can represent. Now before we get into that, ants are actually very beneficial for your garden. Um, it's only in some instances that you would want to try and sort them out because generally speaking they will, you know, they will dig the soil for you. They are really great at taking um, nutrients and bringing them into the soil, especially termites as well. They, they are a type of ant that you don't want to uh, get rid of in your garden so just wanted to mention that as well but then other instances ants can represent a really big problem because they tend to bring uh, aphids into your plant so this week on here I'm finding I'm getting aphids right up here and you can always see ants there because they're going to and um, they farm them like uh, we would farm cattle in a way so they'll bring them up there aphids will bite into your plants and give your plants viruses and such things and you want to really get rid of the aphids but also the ants because they literally just bring them back again as well now in some places like this place here ants can represent even a bigger problem because they will literally eat the seeds out of your seed trays so i've come up with a, a way of combating that just uh, thinking about different methods putting them all together and i want to show you this a uh, little project that I'm doing now in this video. So this is going to be it. Very simple. Just a table. And literally all I did is I used things that I actually had found around the place. Some stuff like the bamboo. I just split the bamboo into four pieces. And what this does is very simple. I, I cut the four corners out here so I can actually put this bamboo tied onto the leg flush with the leg and then I can have two pieces at the front, two pieces at the back, stick a net over it and that's going to prevent any kind of bird from actually uh, stealing the seeds. Now with the ants it's very simple as well, just cut the bottom, off, uh, the bottom off one of these pots and the top I can just use as a planter somewhere and just stuck it under each leg with a brick inside so the actual leg is standing on the brick, topped it up with water to the top of the brick and now no way, there's no way that ants can actually get, uh, climb up the legs and steal the seeds as well. Now this is great because it literally only takes three to four days for the seedlings to come up and they don't bother with them then. I can stick them out in the sunlight and I can do a new set of trays as well. So very, very simple. Okay, so I'm going to get to it and I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, it's not going to win any any prizes for the most beautiful looking thing but it surely is the most highly functional bit of everything that I kind of could find and thrown together that you're ever going to have so I'm really pleased I did buy the mosquito netting because it's just um, pretty much impossible to find this uh, second hand anywhere around here and yeah just a last note on it I did tie up these kind of loose ends using the string that was there already that's just so that it doesn't touch the house and the ants can climb on it. Also, I mean, it's quite obvious if you're going to have a table that has these kind of bars going across to hold the two table legs together, make sure the plastic container isn't touching those, of course, then the ants will come up. And I just want, somebody's going to do it like that and make a mistake, and then they're going to have to go and redo it, so just trying to help you out, avoid that problem. Um, I'm going to water the trays now. All i got to do is water with the watering can through the netting then every two weeks or so i can easily top up the containers as well and that's it highly functional very happy with it <laughs> right let's get some sewing stuff all right another kind of thing on the whole same theme of things is this kind of setup which is Pretty much the same thing that I was building earlier, but it's just going to be like a basin, some concrete blocks, some water inside, ants can climb up. I have like a, like a, you know those kind of um, horse and cat thingies back in America, back in the Wild Wild West, a wagon, that's what it's called. So this is kind of like a wagon style setup with wires, some screws in here, just a wire, put around the screws, a netting over it, netting has kind of been held in place by the the actual little planting bag pots whatever they call them and these are then aubergines that are planted and um, so they're protected from two things three things actually 
One is going to be the ants. Two is the birds because of the netting which I have over there as well. And three is the monsoon heavy rain which which just blasts the heck out of the seedlings. So that's that's my little solution to the whole problem that I'm facing here with ants, birds and monsoon. And it is movable, which is what I like. Pretty heavy too, so it's not gonna go anywhere, if you know what I mean. Right, so I thought I'd finish this video with explaining how to actually get rid of the ant and the, also the aphid problem in your crops as well because that's that's actually a really big problem as mentioned earlier they can spread the aphids can spread viruses and things like that so you have to do two things you have to get rid of the ants because the ants bring them back in so there's two ways to do that one is a little bit uh, nicer and it's probably only half as effective but works on dry days as well especially dry days and you just throw on the affected area, a bit of this wood ash around the base of the plant as well. Just a little goes a long way. And basically what happens then is the ants just pretty much you see it, they'll just run away really quickly and you have some protection for some time. Now if the air is really badly affected, you can actually use baking powder. Again, this is um, a little goes also a long way, as with the wood ash, but what you do is you go and follow the line of ants back to the nest. And just put a little bit every week or so around the nest and within two weeks or so the ant problem will be gone because it literally they kind of expand and they die that way so it's a horrible way to go and they also it, bring it back to the nest and it kind of kills the nest and i hate to use it i i use it very sparingly i don't like using it at all actually but sometimes you just need to be um on top of them otherwise you're just gonna have a big huge issue now, you have to kill the aphids as well, because there's no point getting rid of the ants and the aphids are still in the actual crops, because they're the biggest problem actually. And the way to do that is you just use, in this bottle actually what I've done is I've used neem juice, but you could also use garlic juice or um, you could take some red chilies dried and put them into a little bit of water, let the water go really red and then use that instead of the neem juice. And then I added also one part, so I added two parts neem juice, one part oil and just a squirt of kind of bio-friendly kind of uh, washing up liquid. Shake it up, stick about that much into your spray bottle and then just spray the affected areas. Making sure that you really kind of uh, look under the leaves and when these start coming up first I also kind of divide them up a little bit and try to really cover the aphids because otherwise you're going to have um, them just basically multiplying and aphids can multiply really quickly when aphid can actually it's a type of hermaphrodite and can just basically multiply with itself and then you're having uh, more and more aphids in your crops in no time whatsoever again spray again in about uh, one week's time in the west here in, in India you have to pretty much spray every two or three days with this kind of stuff and that's it, that's how you get rid of your aphid problem, your ant problem and it's all pretty much uh, like eco-friendly stuff, you're not harming your soil, you're just pretty much killing uh, the things that are being a pest for you. Hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you hopefully in the next one.